sadly, we are no longer uh, achievement compatible because I made a mod that allows you to form the North German Confederation. I accidentally modified a uh, base game file, loaded the game up without realizing it, caught that I had uh, broke achievements, went back and um, validated game files, but the damage was already done. I had already loaded in. So we're playing in Iron Man with no achievements. Not that we really needed any achievements in this run, but I just wanted to let you guys know for transparency's sake, if somebody sees that, nope, I'm not cheating. I uh, promise you this is a vanilla check something, but either way, lads, today we are going to continue our Prussia campaign. Uh, I want to get a couple of things like this one here done. Now, how many loans do we have? Not many. So we have a bit of a governing capacity. No, we don't. We don't have any governing capacity to spare. So. We're going to keep on building those buildings now, and we actually need to look for a place to pick up some monies for ourselves. So what do you guys say? We just go to war with some people, beat the tar out of some people, and uh, take all their money. Finland. Hello. Since when? How have I not seen Finland? I feel like I would have pointed that out if I saw it before. That's crazy, actually. All right. So either way, let's get you guys here. Let's have this army head over here to Plock, and this army head over here to Poznan. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just kill them. Uh, I'm not really too too worried about this war. Wow, these sieges are crazy fast. Look at this. I am in awe, man. Look at this. This siege takes her 13 days. Finish up an entire siege in, like, 15 minutes, like, in the game, not real life. So yeah, all we need to do is uh, get these guys full occupied and then just piece them out for as much money as we're willing to do, or they're willing to do. That's all I want to do in this run. I, I don't, or in this run, in this war, I don't actually care about the war itself. Literally just want money. <laughs> it's like real life, you know? Uh-huh. Let's uh head up and might as well piece these guys out separately as well. They siege down Novgorod. Feels bad, man. Finally, we've got a little bit of a... Uh... Get these guys out of here, bro. We still don't have Force March. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. We are winning sieges, though. Feels good in that regard. So, Salzburg is uh, Catholic. So, we might as well do a couple more conversions. We are waiting for the uh, League War to kick off, after all. Or the League... Uh, the War... The League to Fire? Whatever. Gotland and Finland and Sealy, huh? Sealy is getting siege down, but not really, though. Let's not have you guys attached to me. Not necessary. And uh, let's get up here. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the run so far. I know I certainly have been. Always appreciate a good Prussia run. And since they've got this uh, little bit of a rework here, I wanted to try them out. A lot of people kind of, like, complain, saying that Prussia is, like, heavily nerfed compared to what it used to be. And I, I definitely don't. Don't think so. I don't, I don't see that at all, but they're definitely different, and it is harder to get militarization uh, be, unless you are, you know, high enough. Um, uh, it, it is harder. I will, I will, uh, I will uh, concede that. But people in this game, people who play this game, have a tendency to go like all or nothing. Like something is either awesome or it is like trash. Oh, not steer trade. Wrong button there. And. Um, I don't know. I find that pretty uh, boring, to be honest with you, lads. I find it quite boring. I, for one, am thankful that uh, we get so much fun content for this game. Um, It's fine. It's a lot of money for us. I'll pay off my loan. And uh, whatever is left over, we'll build up a couple of these regimental camps. We're going to need those for this mission here. To get our uh, force limit up over 100,000. We are very close, but we are not quite there. And uh, I don't want to do any development. Can't really uh, spare spare the development. Let's go ahead and get back to drilling. Why not? We also can afford it. So we should probably get a couple more boyos in the army. Whew. Yeah, I'll let that one time out. Dang, man. I said I don't want to do any development. Turn around and do some development. It is what it is. I'm not taking tech that far ahead of time. Heck no. Oh, we're making so much money. This is awesome. There you go. And 
As long as you are uh, in the positives after the monthly tick, you will not take a loan out. That's when it does that check. So that's why I went into the negatives there without any issues. And uh, as we get a little bit of money, we'll handle that. These guys are not going to handle those rebels, almost certainly. So let's have our, our boats head on over, take our boys, and handle my uh, subject's rebels. Oh my gosh, you guys are actually worthless. I just need to annex these guys soon. France going to war with some people. All good. League War has fired. Oh shoot, we need out of this war now. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Let's uh, get out of here. Have you guys go back to protecting trade in uh, the Baltic. Yeah, now we definitely just need to get out of this war. So let's pull this army. French conquest. Is Austria the emperor? Or Styria is. That's funny. Styria literally just became um, Austria. Even has their Even has Vienna and everything. Super funny. So yeah, I'm just going to get some war score and I'm just going to peace out here. I don't actually want to be in this war. Right, let's have you guys come back down here. Sweden's in this war even too, man. And we're just going to keep track of uh, this number here. We're just going to keep on building some buildings here. Can I peace out? Not quite. There's a lot of men in this war that I do not want to be associated with. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. People are joining a coalition against me. It's so funny that Bohemia is the... <laughs> Bohemia is the one in charge of the HRE. Alright, let's just get a little bit more occupations going on. I don't... I need to take back Vienna, so let's take back Vienna then. I just need to get as much war score as possible. We do need to make sure that we... Uh, we are the leader of the League War. It's very important that we are. Because the AI is um, big dumb. Big dumb. Alright. So, say war ups. It's fine. France gets upset. Don't care. Also, I got a comment saying like, why don't you just give uh, the lands over here to France? Because I don't care, my friends. Um, I'll, I'll say this. And this is not me, you know, lashing out or anything like that. Almost 90% of the time when I get a comment saying, why don't you just do X instead of Y? It's because I play the game for fun, not to play optimal. Right? That's that's the main reason why I do what I do. So now we've got a five year or a, a couple years truce with these guys. We'll be able to attack them whenever we want to. Uh, in the meantime, I will get my trust maxed out with France. Oh, not issue embargo. What am I doing? But yeah, I mean... I, I, this is something that I've dealt with for as long as I can remember. I, is what's called backseat gaming. People commenting and saying like, hey man, you should do this. It's like, okay. You know, <laughs> I understand people like to help and I, and I, I do appreciate that. But respectfully, I, I don't need it. And I would, uh, you know, ask people not to worry so much about how I play the game, right? I mean, obviously it's like I make these videos to be entertaining. I want people to find entertainment in my videos. Otherwise, I wouldn't make them. And if people didn't enjoy them, then I wouldn't have a viewership base, right? So obviously, I'm doing something. But uh, yeah, I, I know that people play differently. Some people play very differently than me. And that's all right. You know, I understand that uh, everybody's got a different play style. So let's see here. Right. I definitely need to upgrade these guys as well. I forgot about that. Could be making quite a bit more money. And rant, by the way. But no, I, I appreciate people who leave, like, positive feedback to, like, remind me of stuff. Stuff like that. That, that is nice. But when people say, like, why didn't you do this one specific small, like, intricate detail? Why didn't you click this button before you click this button? That way you could get this and that. And it's like, probably because I just didn't think about it at the time, you know? It is somewhat hard to play this game, Stream of Consciousness, not be a total dingus, and be able to be entertaining while also not be complete garbage. Like, I know I'm not the, that good at the game. I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> but uh, I do try. Lest I be ridiculed by you people in the comments. Rightfully so, as well. I'm definitely better than I used to be. That's for sure. 
All right, so we are not quite maxed out on discipline. Really? No? Oh. No, we don't even, we're not even in absolutism yet. What am I thinking? Where are you? Do I have... Oh, you need to let it go over one month? Is that is that how that works? Yes, there we go. Cool. The Great Prussian Military Reform and un upgrade the early Prussian militarization to regular Prussian militarization. I lose it. Feels bad. Uh, I didn't actually look at the previous buff, but we'll see how that goes. So I get 20 for free. I think this actually gives me an extra 5% discipline. I might be wrong. I don't know. I don't know at all, to be honest with you. Either way, we have the next one here. Let's go with uh, Royal Court here. We're going to need that absolutism once the time comes. And whenever our truce is up in August of 61, we will attack and we will we will get a, get a cheek a clapping over here. I can't believe that Lithuania has been my friend for so long. Look what happened to Muscovy. They are gone. Muscovy is just dead. That's crazy. <laughs> so we need to make the decision. Do we want to go for the emperorship and have Protestant HRE, which we will inevitably be the emperor of, or do we dismantle the HRE? Both of which are options that we could do. We can ally the people that are on our side, occupy the people that are not, and dismantle. Both are po both are options, and I don't think either of them is correct. I or either of them are incorrect, rather. I'm leaning towards just doing it. I'm leaning towards giving it a try. I do want to get this up now? Let me see here. Force limit. Total Prussian militarization. Okay, so there is multiple tiers. I knew that. And we get a permanent modifier for army drill gain, regiment drill loss, and reinforced costs. Okay. Well, I mean, we are making good progress on professionalism. And we have income. So we might as well get uh, get working on that. I think we're going to have to go quantity for our next idea then, if that is the case. Oh, come on now. He's good, though. I'm not paying that much money for it. Not worth it. If he dies, he dies. All right. Converting, of course. Um, do I have how much of cap? Okay, right. Let's go ahead and core that up. I think that's reasonable. Lose some manpower. France gets a modifier. That's fine with me. Yeah. Crush the peasantry is dad. And we got a 536 Heinrich, you legend. All right. Maybe I'm not so upset. And then we instantly. Okay. Gosh, dang it, man. Russia. I don't want to get rid of the Pu uh, Prussian monarchy reform, but. Ooh -wee. Yeah. We're going to be. We're going to be struggling. For GovCap the entire game. All right, let's go ahead and go indebted to our burgers here. We need to make sure that we are also yoinking some of these here and there. Can I get something for militarization monthly? Yunker supremacy. This one's okay. I don't think we need strong duchies, honestly. Force conscription enables decision to raise additional levies, giving us land maintenance for a certain period of time. Eh, not necessary in my opinion. And we'll just core up this stuff. Yes, it will put us over our governing cap. Yes, that means we will lose more militarization. At this point, it's not something that I'm super concerned about. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to hold off. Uh, I'm not going to boost up our militarization until the League War kicks off. Which will be soon. It's coming very soon. August of 61. One year from today. France going to war with Great Britain. Right. And I said I was going to do this and then I forgot to. 
Let's build these guys. These state houses will help with our economy or with our um, with our thing. You know the thing. Let's go ahead and get that up to stab three, and get another general over here. A three six. Oh, I thought this. Said, I saw the P and I thought it said Paulus. I'm like, ain't no way. I'm putting a guy named Paulus in charge of my army. Ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. I guess we lose a stab. <laughs> it's all good. So, yeah, it's fine. You guys can do this. Now I should probably get my armies somewhere down here. And I am, to reiterate, I will be going for the um, a dominant victory. I'm going to win. Um, and if I am in war with these guys, they should not get called into the League War, which is what's called a pro-gamer move. And now... We should be able to declare the League War. We can. Yep. And we'll call all of our friends in. How do they have more men than we do? Spain. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm not really too concerned about that. Now, what we are going to do... Well... Kind of want to head over and piece Spain out. Like, get Spain beat up first. Because they're going to be the primary guy. France actually joined. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> So Great Britain is not in this war. I should I should reiterate. Great Britain is not in this war, I'm pretty sure. Wait, are they? They're not. Uh, because they were already in a war against me. You can't join a war of somebody who you were already at war with, right? That makes sense. So if I go over here, I basically have to forfeit my own lands. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to start the process of getting these guys occupied. We'll get, a, we'll get the institution eventually. I am not fussed about it. And then... Let's get that boosted up all the way. And that gives us a big, juicy 120% discipline, which is a uh, bussin, as the kids say. And uh, that is pretty solid. Let's go ahead and scorch this province as well. And yeah, this is the issue that I'm concerned about, is like, my borders are very much forted up. I don't have uh, level 2 forts. They're all just level 1 forts, which is... Or they're level two forts, not level three forts, is what I was trying to say. And this is indeed a um, a uh, show superiority war. So my friends coming on over and losing battles is not going to do us any favors. But if we can come over here, yeah, like this is good. This is good. This is good. And what you want to do is you just want to siege down a bunch of people. Why am I, like, locked right here? What the heck? All right. Yep, let's come on up here. If you can find those sorts of battles, those are big, big for war score. So those are the ones you want to go for. And uh, my provinces are getting occupied by Great Britain in this war, huh? So let's not have that happen. Go ahead and put you guys on defensiveness edict. Hopefully they don't win. Do I have a navy somewhere that would be, like, worth defending? I made a mistake. <laughs> I upgraded my navy before. <laughs> that could have been bad. They were about to get kicked out of the port there. If I wasn't paying attention, that could have been a disaster. All right, let's get up here. Get the British off of my... Uh, get them out of my swamp here. And we need to start piecing out people as we are able to. The League War is a pretty... Uh, I think it's a minus 50 reasons to uh, piece out or whatever. But, you know, if you piece, if you siege on somebody's capital, you, you can basically do whatever you want with them. Um... Now, my main goal is going to be to convert as many people as possible, like the small guys, and then um, whoever we can... I don't think we'll take much land, but uh, whoever we can, like, dismantle, we want to do that. Yeah, these guys are getting repaired. Yeah, okay. Why are you... All right. So, these guys are reformed. They will be forced religion. They don't get a say in that one. They said nay, but uh, I do not care. These guys are in the war of the Protestant League, so I can I can uh, you know do whatever I want with them. Norway's getting occupied. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get you guys down here to siege down their fort. Mines is uh, in charge of that siege there. I am losing quite a bit of militarization. Unfortunate. The prestige is not anything I'm too fussed about. Yeah, let's get over here, siege back this stuff, make sure that these guys are, uh... 
we need to piece them out ASAP. Pour that up. My governing capacity is, it's, it's seen better days, but it is getting there. All right. Now you guys are definitely going to piece out. You will definitely give me your money. That is a lot of money. I will get 10%. I have 10% war score or war participation. We have 70% in the league war. It's pretty good. <laughs> that is quite good. We are only on high enthusiasm or they are on high enthusiasm rather. We finished those out, which is cool. Now, where are we at? 112. So we're actually like getting quite a bit of force limit here. Conquer Greater Poland. I really don't care about that one. Konigsberg, I'm going to wait until Age of uh, Absolutism because that's when we, well, I think it's like admin, what is it? Admin 2019, something like that. Uh, university 17. At 17 is when I will build the universities because here you can see if we have at least 25 universities, we will um, experience a golden era during uh without experience our own for the duration of our ruler's life so we'll make sure we have a young ruler we will build up those universities which are good anyways because it allows you to dev for cheaper and uh that's how we're going to handle that i don't care about that we don't need to worry about that lithuania you are terrible absolute gra garbage now we're going to occupy a couple other dudes for some war score here our army here is a uh, people piecing out all is good with that let's get on to Perineos. Kill a couple of boyos in the mountains over here. Now, what is this tech here? Seven years ahead of time. I don't think that's necessary. All right, Spain. I will definitely at least take war reps from them. That will be good. War reps is just so good. Like, you should always take war reps if you can. God, Britain being so annoying. How about you guys? Britain, like, doing these naval invasions is giving me butt cancer so get you guys full occupied look at that france is absolutely just balls of steel all right might as well do a little bit of development not too much because we are oh shoot i lied we're not it's it's pretty bad actually Let's get uh, one general on each of these forts here. And let's get a third general recruited. And over here. Might as well stack white these Swedes. They're on 99% on high enthusiasm because reasons. I just need to win these sieges over here. Hopefully they don't. Ah, my buddy's being stupid like that. Not ideal. Yeah, my allies dogpiling on them and Okay. This war turned around very quickly though. And you see the League War is gonna be over in just a few short years. These guys are going to get force converted, give me their money. And uh, we're gonna do that with everybody in this war. If you are not Protestant, you will be forced religion because when we uh, inevitably take over the uh, Emperorship, these guys are Protestant. So they can't join. But whenever we inevitably take over the Emperorship, we will um, have more people that uh, support us because we are their brothers in the faith, right? That is beautiful. That is a really nice process map mode. Almost like exclusively Germany. And obviously there's some reformed stuff going on down here. We're going to have to root out that rot. But yeah, and I'm taking all of their um, war goals as well. Or war reps because, you know, it's money. Might as well. So many boys down here getting converted. Lorraine, you thought, boy? Liege, Catholics, and my Christian Minecraft server? Don't think so. So I can't believe that France is still in this war. Like, why are they? And you can see here, these guys are not in the war. So this war is over. Um, now I think in order to get religious supremacy, so we can do it right now. Okay, cool. Well, let's piece everyone else out real quick. No, Spain, that's not how this works. Do I see a Portugal in this war as well? I think I missed that. I 
did miss that. It's okay. I imagine they don't have much of an army to uh to fight it. <laughs> and get the carpet sieging down. If they don't want to say, okay, you know, maybe I am gonna be real real reasonable here, then uh, you know, we'll make them pay for it. It's all good. Fighting on the mountain fort here. France, hold on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. Come on now. They're heading over to Leon, I bet. No, Asturias. I can't reach them because of the fort. They suicided their armies. What are you guys doing? <laughs> all right, cool. So Portugal, you guys will... Portugal holding on for dear life. We randomly got... Oh, hey, we finished our state houses. Very good. Very useful. All right. So, war reps. I would like to humiliate them, but this is fine. Basically, what that does is it just uh, weakens them. Gives them a lot of uh, reasons to say, maybe I don't want to mess with Prussia again, right? Genoa, huh? You are not in the HRE, so I do not really care. Yeah, don't care. All right, cool. So where's my other army at again? Right, let's get you guys down here. Because we've won. The war is over. I would like to piece Portugal out for at least something first. Like, let their war exhaustion go up a bit. That'll be, That's fine. And then once their war exhaustion goes up just a bit, we will be able to... Uh, we'll be able to handle them, piece them out separately. So I have a, a costly embargo because the MAMs are no longer a valid rival because... Uh, yeah, they're not looking so good. No, that's fine with me. We'll be able to uh, declare another rival eventually here. Sadly, I have a truce with both these guys, so I cannot uh, insult them. All right. Now, I will at least take war reps from these guys. They don't get a say. Again, stay in war. Go ahead. See what happens to your war exhaustion. All right, here we go. And because of your troubles, you're going to lose a little bit more money. And just like that, the League War is done and dusted. Tuscany is in the war. I forgot about them. Of course, I will take your money. Sweden, you will transfer your trade power to me and give, you guessed it, all of your money. We're making bank in this war, huh? No reason to not piece everyone else out separately. There's literally no reason to. Just do it. Forced religion, religious supremacy, insult to injury, the former emperor converted, and uh, now the dominant faith of the HRE. Uh, I shouldn't have converted him, actually, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, and now you can see here, people are going to start picking who they want to vote for. I am obviously going to vote for myself. Bohemia, I shall... Uh, I need to repay my loans, and then I will influence them. Right, I forgot about the Brandenburg Gate. So, what does this give us? Monthly? Ooh, 0 .08. 0 .08. Okay, cool. Well, the League War is over. The The... Game blouses, the Protestants are victorious, and uh, obviously we need to make sure we are the next emperor of the HRE. Probably not going to be able to uh, force this through. Uh, actually, there is no way there's 40. Aha, we're gaining imperial authority. So we'll see what we can do here. Lads, I hope you're enjoying. I certainly am. If you are enjoying, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. And if you haven't already uh, joined the Discord, you can check it out. It is linked in the description. And uh, if you want to support me on my Patreon, you can do that. But uh, that is all I've got for you for today. And until next time, stay chill. Special thanks to ALS Gamer, LeGrand Puba, Chio, Josh Kapchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Cannon Fodder, and many more. If you want to see your name here and early access to these videos, check out the join button below the video or the Patreon linked in the description.